We're learning more about a tragic story that's grabbed attention worldwide. A Wells Fargo employee in Tempe, Arizona was found dead at her desk four days after she clocked in. Many are asking how it could have taken so long to discover what happened. Jade Cunningham from our sister station in Phoenix talked to her co-workers who are also raising new concerns. It's new tonight on The Current. Employees sharing these images of a Wells Fargo third floor where a co-worker's body was found at a desk four days after showing up for work. It didn't surprise me, unfortunately, it didn't. to hear like somebody's just sitting at their desk, nobody's checking on them. Tempe police have identified the woman as 60-year-old Denise Prudhomme. Sources who work at that Wells Fargo telling 12 News Prudhomme was found on the third floor of the office building near Washington Street and Priest Drive. Monday we came to work. And they were reporting of a smell. This person who spoke with us anonymously over fear of retaliation didn't know Prudhomme, but says she was found in a remote part of the building. They say with employees working from home, it's unclear how many were on the third floor at the time of death. Still, four days went by before Prudhomme was found. It's hard for co-workers to believe. It really blows my mind that no one's seen this woman. The way that these offices are set up, somebody had to walk faster. Multiple sources also telling 12 News there's concern about how the area was cleaned up, claiming a professional cleaning crew was never called in to help. To know that I work in this building and to know that this is a company that I, you know, like working at and to know that this is how they handle things is not right. Wells Fargo releasing a new statement saying in part, we are deeply saddened by the loss of our colleague Denise. We are in contact with her family to ensure they are well supported during this difficult time. A cause of death is still pending. Tempe police denying 12 News's request for an interview saying they have so far released everything they can in regards to this case.